Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, we're back for episode number 34, and we are just tearing off into the mines here. Um, I have a feeling this episode's going to be a lot of just combat and uh, general stuff like that, so... Um, in the meantime, I may as well talk to you about the, uh, the intro sequence and all that jazz. Um, I redid the intro sequence. I was not terribly happy with the way it was uh, for the last episode, especially re-watching it. Um, it, was, it was silly, but I kind of I kind of overdid the... well, I both overdid and didn't do enough in terms of like just having it be like... I don't know, I don't want to say painfully bad, but I just wanted to go for like funny bad. Um, but it wasn't really funny bad enough, so it ended up just being kind of bad bad. So, uh, I mean, it, it was, uh, it could have certainly been worse, and I used some of the same video clip because that was okay. Um, but as you just, uh, as you guys just saw, I redid the intro, and, uh, I'm quite a bit more happy with it, and I've got it in a format where I can modify it as I want to, so... Currently I've got uh, The Old Republic as sort of the fourth Let's Play game, just because it's one that I've done in the past, but that is not uh, not really one that I plan on doing again in the future, so... That'll probably get switched out eventually when I start Let's Playing another game, um, so we'll see. But uh, just figured I'd, you know, let you know what my thinking was behind that. And I wanted to uh, say a, another big thanks to Griffin for his help um, with looking into uh, some free music options and things like that. Certainly, uh, certainly useful information, and I really appreciate that. So thank you very much for that, uh, Griffin, and for the, uh, the feedback as far as, you know, the intro goes, thank you all. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're just working our way through fireballing through zombie slaves. Um, these guys seem to go down pretty easily, so it's not too big of a concern. Uh, they're kind of slow too, although every time I say something's kind of slow, it seems like it immediately rushes me and leaps into combat, so I don't know. Uh, but they don't seem to be too worry, uh, worrisome. Plus, this tunnel is somewhat more linear than I recall. I, I thought it was a bit more convoluted. There are some branching points, but uh, we should hopefully be able to follow our way through here and find uh, where we're supposed to be. So let's see. We're still in combat? Or are we in combat? I don't know. Are we in combat with something in there? Maybe? I don't know. We'll drink a speed potion just to speed us up. I think that uh, speed potion continues even when we're in combat. So that's cool. Uh, I previously had thought that they went away when we got out of combat, or when we went into combat, but uh, nope. Not, uh, not going away. The other thing that I think I might do is, um, my Lancer character is a bit lower level, but I do really enjoy playing that character, so I may mix it up sometimes, and since the Warrior, uh, Let's Play-ish thing is not really, uh, a Let's Play, strictly speaking, I'm not recording all of my gameplay, um, or you know, worrying too much about commentary, I may throw in uh, some warrior videos as well and just consider it kind of a supplemental uh, extra, you know, let's play-ish type thing, uh, rather than just my warrior character. So we'll have to see. Um, and then, uh, let's see what else. Um, Eventually, I would like to try to do more um, more Minecraft videos. I've been kind of on a hiatus from Minecraft for a while now, especially with uh, 
you know, just the pain of dealing with weekly uh, patches, wanting you know, new features and stuff. I think what I'll probably end up doing is uh, waiting until Minecraft 1.3 comes out and then trying to get Alex back into uh, doing some of those videos. But we shall see. Uh, we may or may not get into Minecraft again for a while. It's fun, but, uh, you know, not not really quite as much fun as playing Terra. And uh, working with somebody else, um, it's tough because Alex's schedule is somewhat restrictive, so that's why uh, it's certainly much easier for me to do uh, the Terra Let's Play since it's just me. And I can do it on a daily basis rather than uh, having to worry about other people's schedules for the uh, group stuff. So, uh, let's see, we do need these cave mushrooms, so this glowy red, uh, red mushroom here, I need to try to get that. It's interesting, I think the animations are largely client-side because uh, I noticed that it collides with the ceiling above me, and yet it still does damage, so I think the damage area is specified, and then the, uh, the way that it's coded, the uh, blast just collides with the first, like, model that it comes across. Um, it's just kind of interesting, at least to me. I'm uh, somewhat of a fan of, like, the way that different games are coded and, you know, thinking about how things may work. Um, just kind of hypothesizing on it and looking into the way that various objects respond, uh, partially because it often leads to interesting glitches and things and, you know, different uh, funny parts like that, especially in games like World of Warcraft, um, in terms of, like, model uh, glitching and, and that kind of thing. Um, but also just because I, I do a bit of programming, um, and, you know, it's kind of interesting and whatnot, at least to me, to think about how people may have gone about solving a problem, like, you know, determining where, where a, uh, fire blast hits. And sometimes you see some very elegant things that people have done to make a game just work really well, um, and it's really impressive, and a lot of what's in Terra is quite impressive. I mean, you know, it's in general seems to be quite robustly coded. I haven't come across too many things where there have been really any measure of glitchiness. So let's see, we have to uh, find Ruinal. We should be right through here. Okay, got hung up on a rock. That's cool. See, even though that hit the, uh, you know, that hit the bar above me, it still did its damage. Okay. Taken out. Ruin all. Shrooms in the gloom. Done. Tools of slavery. Done. Nope, don't need your help. Thank you. You need my help? Wow, that is far too frequent help? a phrase. Okay. Thank you. So we need uh, thermionic deposit nuggets. Um, morale boosters need to be killed. And... Oh, I see. The, the taskmasters and slave overseers are who drop the, uh, the nuggets. Alright. In that case, bam. No nuggets. Okay, cool. Well, then we will uh, we will just continue through here. We'll work our way out to this room over here and then back. That'll be a good good way to hopefully pick up some of these. Nice. We got uh, we got one nugget. So I guess the little guys drop them as well. Two nuggets. Cool. And... 
these Zampori laborers are just so weird. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Let's see here. Hang on. Can we... We can vote for people. Cool. So, for this region, we will vote for... Um... Hmm. I don't really know. Rain? Sure. For this region, we will vote for Vevictus, which is our guild. Yes. And in this region, we will vote for... Ooh. I see there are more... There are more scrollies or something. Oh, no, no, there's not. Sorry. I thought there were more guilds to vote for. Um, I don't really know. The most popular one so far is Forkin, I guess. So... Hmm. Sure. We'll, we'll vote for them. I would, uh... You can, like, read into their bios, but, uh... As interesting as it is to some, I just, I guess it's nice to contribute, but I don't care enough to read into it at this time, especially while recording. But uh, for anybody that hasn't done the voting process before, um, that's how you do that. You just go, go up by your map, and uh, a little icon should be there if voting is currently active. And... Uh, yeah, then you can vote for your favorite guilds. And whoever you want to be Van Ark of a certain region. Cool. Uh, once we hit level 33, um, hopefully soon, we should be able to uh, get the uh, chess piece that... Um, my warrior currently has. Since I did find a uh, sorcerer chess piece, I'm going to uh, send that over. May as well, you know, use um, every advantage I can, uh, considering that I wouldn't really have too much of an issue purchasing. Excuse me, purchasing something off of the uh, auction house or whatever. Uh, Trade hub? I forget what it's called, but, uh... Broker? Trade broker, maybe? is I forget. But, uh... Considering we can buy things from there, I don't see a major problem with using something in another character gathered. As much as, um... I guess there are some people that like to keep their characters in a game, in an MMO, pretty separate, so anything that they do on one character, they try not to you know, use that to help their other characters progress, but, uh, my warrior is not, like, a huge amount ahead. It's not like he's a, or she, rather, is a level 60 that, uh, I can just pull tons of money off of and buy really expensive things I otherwise couldn't afford. And I'm only, like, a couple of levels ahead, so I don't see any problem with it. Um, oh my. Oh no. Stuck between a, a rock and a slave overseer. A rock and a fat guy. Alrighty. Taken down. We only need uh, four more thermionic deposit nuggets. So, we will begin heading over. Hopefully, getting enough of those uh, nuggets by the time we get to uh, our next area here. Okay, so we only need two more. Yeah, here's another guy. We need to start heading up north uh, in the caves. Wow, that really, uh, that really did quite a bit of damage to him using my uh, blast ability. I have not been using uh, 
that charge up as much as I like, as much as I would like. Let's see here. Come now, we only need one more thermionic nugget. Or thermionic or whatever. Okay. Nuggets gathered. 12 out of 12. Would gather again, but preferably not soon. Um, and we can continue to work our way through this cave. We need to kill five morale boosters uh, and then go to Justicar Talfren, uh, who is at the reliquary station, I guess. Okay. Party time. They got the right idea. It is party time. Ooh. Die, zombies. Die, zombies, die. So after this, I'm very much looking forward to our next zone, which is going to be Pirate Zone. Pirates all day, every day. Alright, more, more zombie choppers. Um, I guess... Oh, I see how this cave curves around. I thought that the exit was at the top. So I was like, huh, this is weird that we're getting close to the exit without, uh, without running into the guys we have to fight yet. But, uh, no, the exit is over back east. So it's like one big loop. Um, and we will need to work our way around there. In order to get down to the next level. Okay. Take that, and we'll continue on our way here. We'll just kind of run through some of this, considering we don't really want to fight all these guys. Cruel Taskmasters? No, we want morale boosters. Here they are. Alright, so we'd better we'd made her make our stand here against anything that comes to fight us now. Okay. I think that's everybody that's uh, coming after us. Yeah. All the rest of them lost interest. So here are the morale boosters. Unfortunately, we were able to shortcut our way over here uh, just by running through without taking uh, a whole bunch of damage. It's always kind of a gamble when you do that, because if you get too many things and you don't get far enough away, they'll just keep piling up on you. Uh, but as long as you're careful, it'll work. Um, and if you're really worried, especially as an Ellen or Popori character, you can utilize the uh, special ability to avoid aggro, and that'll allow you to just pass through completely unharmed. Oh man, what? Are you just gonna punch an otter in the face? What a jerk. It's like hitting an old lady. Or a girl. It's just not done. Otters are peaceful, fun-loving creatures. They hold hands. If any of you haven't seen the video of otters holding hands, you should, uh... You're on YouTube, you should go look that up. Otters holding hands. It's absolutely adorable. Yeah. So... More... Oh, I like these little signs. I saw one back earlier. But they do seem to be pointing us through, uh, telling us where we can go, which is nice. I'm definitely doing a much better job of this, uh, this time around. The first time when I came through here on my warrior, 
I kind of got to the first area, hadn't quite finished the quest, so I got the second set of quests from that guy. Or the... I got the quest from that guy that we just visited a little bit ago, and, uh, and ended up continuing on and having to double back, and it was just a whole, whole big mess. It kind of locked me up in here for, uh, quite a while, but we are moving rather quickly through here, which is good. Uh, this is only the first level, though, so it does does continue down, and it gets a little more... Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just blast through here. Hello, skeletal vassals. I'm sure you're all... You're all great and very, very foreboding. Um, I just don't really want to fight you right now, so... Okay. Discovered. The pit. Uh, old weapon. Accept. Cave in. Accept. Uh, searching for survivors. Something to remember them by. Looking for in. Accept. My goodness, this is a lot of quests. Uh, Keep it together. Okay. Will do. I will keep it together. Um, let's see here. Uh, while we heal up a little bit uh, in our stamina, we can go ahead and burn a few of these tokens. So we'll burn a Sanguine Charm and an Onslaught Charm. Uh, partially just to get rid of some of our Onslaught Charms since we have quite a few. But, uh, anyway, we will we'll continue on here, uh, seeing as how this now leads us further into this pit. Wow, these are, these are some imposing guys. Stay away from me with your sword. You know, it's kind of funny that, uh, you know, with the scale that this game is on, if that guy hit me with his sword, with me in cloth armor and whatnot, by all rights, I mean, that that would be the end of days for my little otter fella. But, uh, but nope. I mean, he'll hit me and, I mean, it'll hurt, but, but it's just like, oh, you know, 5% of my life? Sure, that, that seems appropriate for getting, getting hit with, like, the force of a thousand demons or whatever, you know, whatever he's wielding. Um, oh wow, we are like walking right into the crab nest here. Cave in, we have to kill three of these things. So I guess, I guess we can try to take one on, we'll see what we can do. Oh wow. This is not looking overly, uh, overly promising. I mean, I'm looking at, like, what, 5% of the damage to him, currently? He hasn't gone in rage mode yet, either, so that means he's a little easier to avoid. I guess we can try to fight him, see if we can get at least one of them down. Although, this kind of comes back to the is it worth it as far as group quests are concerned. Um, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. I think... I think even though we, you know, again, we're kind of faced with this, we probably could take him down if we... if we just went for it and, and put a fair amount of time into it, but... It just takes so long to deal damage to these guys that I'm not sure it's worth it. Come on, reset, fella. I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight you. Okay, we'll go after these guys instead. They're a lot, uh... a lot less scary. A lot more manageable. Thank you. Another skull of our foes. 
I may be a, a brave spelunking otter, but uh, I think killing my way through a nest of enemy giant crabs is about where I draw the line at the moment. Mainly due to time restrictions. Okay. Because as, as fascinating as those foes are, I think an entire episode devoted to me just killing like three crabs would be a little out of the question. Come here, Osagon Prefect. He's just sauntering around all my attacks. Ha ha ha. Taken down with a vengeance. I love all of these, like, flowy, misty spell animations around the enemies. Okay, what is... what has got me still in combat? I don't understand. Okay, special weapons crates. Thank you. Uh, avoiding that fellow. And going after this guy. A slightly more manageable foe. For sure. Okay. Ooh, Lin Metalore. Yeah, for a mine, I've seen surprisingly few, um, like, mining nodes. I mean, I guess maybe I've just missed them or something, but, uh, I don't think I've really seen very many of them. Okay, weapons crates. Oh, cool, I can just attack him. Carefully, so as not to enrage my crabby foes. Ha ha ha, crabby, like... Like crabs. They're kind of spidery, though. I guess I only say crabby because they're, like, orange-red. Like a... Like a kind of cooked crab. Or like a spider lobster, which I guess is basically the definition of a crab. Okay. We are just mowing down Osigan Prefix. That word always kind of bugged me. Ever since reading Harry Potter. Prefix? I was, for the longest time, I mentally read it as perfects, and then, then it kind of rocked my world when I realized that's not what it was, and so, yeah. Just rambling, don't mind me. So let's see here, I guess we gotta keep heading up the tunnel, um, cause there's gonna be more of our foes up that way. We also gotta kill these guys. Bam! Oh, that's cool. They've got like a crane up there. That's really neat. Alright, we can almost, uh... I think we can get this done. We can get two more Osigan Prefects. There's one. We just need one more. Here he is. The last of his kind. I didn't get credit for that, or... No, I, I think I did. Okay, well, 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and next time we will start back up killing more enemies. So I will see you next time. Bye.